In this video, we are going to discuss about routing protocols and ICMP protocol. So, what are routing protocols? A routing protocol specifies how the routers communicate and spread the information or pass the information to the other routers about the routes configured on it. So, you will be looking about the best example in the routing protocols. You can see host A and host B are connected via router 1 and the source IP is 192.168.1.10 and the destination IP is 192.168.5.10. So, you can see here source IP information and destination IP information are sent through TCP IP protocol so that by sequence or by segments it will be sending the packets to the destination host and we get a acknowledgement based on the same and also you can take a very best example of router 1, router 2, router 3. These are the mediums for host 1, host 2 and host 3. So, you can see here router 1 knew that it needed to send the packet to the destined host 3 towards router 2 that means router 1, router 2 and router 3. So, router 1 has to send to host 3 which is connected to router 3. So, this router 1 will send the information towards host 3 uh, by this router 2 that is what mentioned here and the router 2 in return will be sending the packet to router 3 to make the, these decisions the routing table is used here and also you can see this is the table where you will be having all the network details and all the routers and source or destination IP addresses so that this routing table is forwarded from one hop to other hop. Here hop is nothing but from one router to other router when the information is passing that is called a hop count and you can see about this routing protocols in detail like EIGRP protocol, OSPF protocol, RIP protocol, RIP V2 protocol which are classless and classful protocols also in the next videos and presently you will be looking after ICMP protocol. So, what is ICMP protocol? So, ICMP is internet control message protocol and this is essentially management protocol and a messaging protocol and it will mess it, it will act as a internet protocol of messaging service that means you can see about the best examples of the ICMP here. Destination network unreachable. So, if a packet is sent forward and it cannot be routed to the network in which the destination address is residing. So, here what happens then the router will drop the packet and generate a ICMP service and it will send back to the source informing that the destination did not receive this packet. So, for destination network unreachable, when the destination network is unreachable or when the packet is not able to send the information of, of the data to the destination, then what happens? The ICMP service is generated and sent back to the source. So, the source will be getting notified that the packet is not forwarded to the destination. Other one is time exceeded. So, you will be having a buffer time when while you send the data in a packet form and when the packet is not delivered. So, between this buffer time the TTL time to live of a packet expires and the router will drop it and generate ICMP service back to source. So, to inform the source that this is not sent to destination and it will ask to retry sending the packet again. So, the last one is echo reply. What is this echo reply? ICMP can be used to check network connectivity. So, it will check the network connectivity from source to destination. If the network connectivity is not established or if the source is not able to communicate with the destination, then what happens? The ICMP service is generated as a messaging service or a management protocol service back to the source intimating the packet cannot be forwarded because of the network connectivity. So, about the next layer, networks access layer we will be discussing in the next video.